You're listening to The Coffee Hour. I'm Andy Bates. I'm Sarah Golseth. Thanks to Concordia University, Wisconsin for supporting The Coffee Hour. Find out more about Concordia University, Wisconsin at cuw.edu. Live Uncommon. Today we have a chance to catch up with Deaconess Tiffany Maynard. She's director of LCMS Life Ministry and learn what happened at the March for Life Chicago. Thanks so much for joining us on the Coffee Hour. It is great to be with you here in St. Louis in the studio. I don't know that we've ever done this face to face. You know, I don't think we have. Oh, we're usually online, aren't we? Yeah, we wow. are. Here this is, in yeah. person in the studio. Welcome back from Chicago, by the way. Thanks. It was a great weekend in Chicago, and the temperature is actually even Chicago and St. Louis, so it's a great time for marching. We had a heat wave. It was mid-30s. It was a great day. That is that is impressive. And for for March for Life season, a, th- a day in the 30s is a good day. <laughs> right. Could be 13. <laughs> Right, right. It's you know, it, and, and we're together in a crowd, and and so there's the body heat, it's, and you're it's, walking. It, we're walking. It, it was great. It's it's great. It's all good. Yes. So March for Life Chicago. What is this march, and how is it different from the, the from the national march that happens in Washington D.C.? Oh yeah, let's start with that. So the national march for life in Washington D.C. in January, right around the Roe v. Wade Janu- um, January twenty second anniversary, is always the really big one. I mean, hundreds. Mm-hmm. Hundreds of thousands of people turn out, except for last year yeah, right. <laughs> when th- those people wanted to, but it needed to be a smaller group. And our, our President Harrison was one of a very select group of pro-life leaders asked to march representing everyone else. So that's the big one. But then across the country and actually throughout the year, there are a lot of other marches happening locally. Mm-hmm. And March for Life Chicago is, is one that's really a bit of a Midwestern march because there's so many folks uh, who live within a, a driving distance that's pretty easy from Chicago. And I mean, we've got a, a million Lutherans living within a, a, an easy drive mm-hmm. of Chicago. So that's a, a march that is, is more focused on the Midwest because sadly, Chicago and, and really the state of Illinois is considered to be the abortion capital of the Midwest. Mm-hmm. So it's really important um, in Chicago for people to turn out, um, to speak up for life, and and really advocate that that abortion would come to an end. Um, Certainly um, legalized abortion, but abortion in general would come to an end. So the March for Life Chicago typically has a few thousand people, not quite as many as in D.C., which is still coming up in about 10 days. So you can still come to that one Mm -hmm. or hit a march um, in your state or Mm -hmm. your town in the weeks and months to come. We've got 10 um, that we know of where we have LCMS Life Ministry participating, and there may be even more throughout the year. Very good. So speaking of LCMS represent- representation, how was the LCMS represented at the March for Life Chicago? Oh, we were represented in a lot of ways. Of, of course, we we were all there together um, pastors, church workers, um, youth, youth groups came, really people of, of all ages. We had some little ones, and I was marching right behind a, a guy, a little guy who was probably elementary school age, and he was belting out the hymns. <laughs> when the Lutherans show up, we are um, known to be the Jesus people. We are so focused on Christ at the marches, and we sing hymns, and we confess the creed, and we um, pray, and, and so people know us, and, and um, that we're representing the um, you know Christendom in, in that way. But we also had our, our leaders. We had um, a district president. We had a vice president of Synod. And, of course, our president, Matthew Harrison. Um, he spoke at the rally before the march. And then there was a program in the evening that was offered for the LCMS and anyone else who cared to come where he did a Q&A. You could actually still catch that. We live streamed it on Facebook, so it's still there on video. So you could uh, see President Harrison speaking at the rally or, or his Q&A session. And then he spoke in the evening to a, a select group of leaders as well. So, yeah, we had a, um, a pretty good crowd from the LCMS. I'm sure some of the concerns about you know weather and, and temperature and, and even um, the the variants of, of COVID-19 kept some folks away. But there'll be, there'll be other times that they can march. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. The LCMS has a, a large presence at the March for Life Chicago. One of the main partners, if I'm correct, I believe. Yeah, we were one of the, the um, premier sponsors and, mm-hmm. and partners. And really looking out at the crowd when I was near the, the rally stage with President Harrison, I mean, it, it looked as though we had half the people there. We had our, our green beanies on. <laughs> that was my next question. How do you identify?
identify LCMS <laughs> yeah. Lutherans in a crowd like that. Yeah, but... I mean, the lime green sticks out just a tiny little bit. So we had our big signs up, and, and uh, we had the lime green signs, and you know, the uh, lime green and black are our colors and our hats. And So it looked, I think we looked like we were a bigger group than we actually were. We weren't half the people there, but we were um, a very involved partner and um, actually helped with some of the planning and, and served on the uh, advisory council for the march. Mm-hmm. Yeah, the high vis green hats or or whatever gear you have is pretty easy to identify. For a yes. minute, I thought maybe like you had some like you know amazing ability to identify all the Lutherans in the crowd just <laughs> by looking at them. They kind of, glow. <laughs> kind of glow. They have a glow about them. Um, <laughs> Lime green glow. <laughs> what was what was the message that we heard from? From President Harrison, or from the march as a whole as well, what was the the, the message that came from the march this year? Well, the theme of the March for Life Chicago was to uh, save Midwestern lives, march in Chicago. And for us in the LCMS, we took that a step farther, and we we talked about the ways that we care for people throughout life. And, and of course, um, we understand that it is Christ who's saving lives, saving Midwestern lives. And he poured out his mercy on us when he came to earth, uh, died on the cross, resurrected again. All of his mercy continues to flow to us in the forgiveness of sins that we receive and through the sacraments, through, um, through the word. And when that mercy with all the people around us and in the LCMS this year and, and really going into 2023, we're focused on mercy and caring for people who are facing difficulties in life with our million dollar life match. And that's a grant process where our congregations are be, going to be able to apply for these grants. And the, the LCMS is, is pledging a million dollars. Congregations will match the funds that they receive from the LCMS to care for people. And so we shared with the world at the um, March for Life Chicago, and, and we'll continue at the other marches as well, that we're doing this. And it was um, amazing, actually, when the video played at the rally and President Harrison spoke, it, it became so quiet. And then the, the applause just broke out. And the rest of the people there were really impressed with the, the type of care that we provide to people in our, our local communities and the way that that the LCMS has walked with these families. So that was that was really our, our message from the LCMS is to share about the Million Dollar Life Match, which if anyone's interested, they could find on our website pretty easily at lcms.org slash life. Uh, there's some information there, introductory information, but a lot more information coming out in the um, days and weeks to come. That is an amazing program. Very, very exciting for congregations. Who are some of the other uh, partners, some of the other people that were marching alongside all of all of the glowing <laughs> neon green Lutherans at, at the March for Life? Yeah, so we had three of our recognized service organizations there. Uh, certainly Lutherans for Life is always at the, the marches too, and with chapters across the country, we're always marching together, and, and they actually have um, ties to other Lutheran bodies, so we had some other Lutheran folks there. We had other recognized service organizations like Redeeming Outreach Ministries. They're opening a new maternity home in the Chicagoland area, so it was great that they were there. There was an exhibit, and they, they were telling about that. And then Voice of Care, which is an RSO that's focused on the Chicago area in disabilities ministry. Mm-hmm. And then we had some other partner organizations that, that we were with. We Dignify Plans, the March for Life Chicago, along with some others like Right to Life of, of Illinois. And then we have some great partners that are, are here in St. Louis, like Coal- Coalition for Life St. Louis. They have projects up in the Chicago area. They were there and American Association of Pro-Life OBG. So we were marching alongside all of these partners and then, again, people from the the local communities, but also um, folks who had driven. We talked to one Lutheran who had driven like 11 hours from Nebraska to come to the March for Life Chicago. That's cool. Wow. What were some of the highlights for you at this year's March uh, in Chicago? Well, this year, for the first time, they tried some educational events in the morning. Hmm. So it wasn't um, just the opportunity to march and speak up for life, but also to learn about different life topics. And there were, I don't I don't know, maybe um, four or five different speakers, and there, were, there was a track for youth. So that was kind of nice. And then it was the opportunity to, to visit a convention hall with a lot of exhibits, and you could you know, 
talk with the, the various organizations and the, the partners and even buy some pro-life socks there. Yes. That, was, that was pretty, pretty nifty. <laughs> <laughs> you see someone who um, marched in Chicago ask if they got any socks. That, that was fun to see a, a vendor there with that. <laughs> um, but you know, so it wasn't just being outdoors with the, the march. There were some things happening in the convention hall in the, the morning. And then there was the rally where there were, I think, five different speakers on stage. And um, then we marched together. So to have the variety of activities um, and then have our LCMS event in the afternoon. I mean, f- for me, that was that was really the highlight because we got to have about um, close to an hour with President Buzz and President Harrison, and, and I um, introduced both of them, and they, they um, both talked a little bit. So that that for me was a great part of the day too. In addition to being with all of our our Lutherans out singing hymns and and praying on the streets of Chicago. Yeah, for for people who haven't been to a March for Life and who hopefully will go to a March for Life somewhere across the country. What is the experience like? What is, um, walk us through, huh, walk us through what that, what that March is like when you're outdoors with all of these people and, and, and what those experiences are when you're, when you're proclaiming these, this message. Yeah, it's really a joyful event. So it's, you know, it's like taking a walk down a street with, I don't know, a hundred of, <laughs> you know, your brothers and sisters in Christ while, you, while you, you sing and you pray. And so it's, it's pretty fun. Sure, we're we're bundled up because of the the weather, and a lot of people have those those heat packs in their mm-hmm. their pockets, and in you know even in their shoes and things like that. So, but you don't really even notice that um, and and the weather. And and actually, we march in all kinds of weather, whether it's raining or, or snowing, and you don't even really seem to to notice it because you're all bundled up and you're all together. And so you might have a conversation, um, kind of going on with someone next to you, and and then President Harrison with his his big old um, bullhorn. <laughs> starts another hymn, and then everyone joins in. We, we carry signs that actually have the, the texts of these hymns that are, are really some favorites and, and appropriate as we sing about um, the God's gift of life to us. So we're singing and we're walking, and then maybe we will um, pray the Lord's Prayer or confess a creed. Um, and, and so it's, oh, a couple of hours, but I, I don't even feel like you notice the time passing by. It's, it just all goes so fast and it's just uh, being in the moment together and uh, there'll be people on the street nearby and, and they kind of stop and and look and we've got our signs so they can tell that we're we're there confessing life and and they'll hear us and and they'll smile mm-hmm. so it's uh it, it again is a way to teach people that that people who are pro-life value life and we're joyful people and, and we're there to um out of a spirit of love with just about a excuse me, just about a minute left. Next up, the National March for Life coming up very soon, right? National March for Life. We've got uh, in that same kind of three to four day period. We've got marches happening in Kansas and Nebraska and Minnesota and Utah and Idaho. I'm probably missing one. So go online and look for the the rest. But then there'll be some in the spring, too. But we've got a lot of marches happening um, that that last half of January. So lcms.org slash life, and you'll see um, information on all of the marches happening. Very good. Our guest today, Deaconess Tiffany Maynard, Director, LCMS Life Ministry. Thanks so much for joining us on the Coffee Hour. It's been great to be with you. Thanks for having me. And I guess we need to also point out, you got to go check out Friends for Life podcast at oh, kfuo.org. Yes. If you haven't found that yet, go check it out. Friends for Life podcast under the um, LCMS Partners podcast section on mm-hmm. the KFUO website. And it's also on the KFUO app. You can find it there. Friends for Life. Great podcast. Yes. Check it out. You've been listening to the Coffee Hour. I'm Andy Bates. I'm Sarah Golseth.